lightweight fight. It's only more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height, but big differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who he first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Bopa. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis, the Predator, and You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This all right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. And we are underway. Mirko Krokop is one of the most successful strikers turned mixed martial artists of all time. He's got a ton of experience and quite possibly the most impressive highlight reel of knockouts you will ever see. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. All right, so here we go with round one, and you've got to be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan every time out. It's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Ngannou. Staying busy now. A lot of these punches are landing. Got to play better defense than that. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Pro cop gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. And the kick lands. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe. And his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Right hand lands flush. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Whoa! He hurt him. That hurt him. Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh! Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Pro cop gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Hard leg kick. Snapped off the jab nicely there. The Predator gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. He's looking for that elbow. Nice slip there to avoid the punch by Kroka. Trying to establish that jab once again. Mirko Krokop's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Nice jab there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Wow! Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Hard kick lands. Big shots. Big, Big body shot. The body. They're going at it now. Punch. Oh, Four oh, for the end of 
ground one. And there's the horn. Huge knockdown in that round. Great round from Francis Ngannou. Huge knockdown and very close to stopping that fight, I should add. Let's take a look at it again here. Let's look at that from a different camera. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Ready, fight. Ready. Second Ready. round underway. That landed. Oh, strong inside leg kick. Really, he might have hurt his knee there. Big straight punch. Mirko Krokop gets caught by the inside leg kick. Three minutes to go in round two. Checks the leg kick, Joe. Going to the body there with the right kick. Well, he is... Oh! Oh, he's hurt! And now starting to snap off that jab. It's a big right hand! Flipped him again. He's hurt. He's hurt. Beautiful. Hook. He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. He hurt him again. Oh, that was a powerful kick to the bottom. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble right now. He lands a huge elbow to the head. There's a nice inside leg kick. Body kick. Look at that. Would you look at... Oh, he hurt him again. He hurt him. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got hurt here. Powerful jab. Oh! What a leg kick. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. And he lands it to the leg. One minute to go in round two. Pretty good jab there by Kroka. That one hurt. How about that shin? Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, he's tagging him. He's got him right here. Big body shot. shot. Bottom. Oh, he's hurt again. Oh, very nice. Ten. Oh, oh he got tagged. Oh. Round three next. <laughs> oh, so there's the horn signal in the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Really oh, he tagged him. Oh, very nice. He is 
just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh! Oh! Oh, that one dropped him. Wicked knockout here for the win. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Take a look at this from a different angle. Crank right on the jaw. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 16 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator. Ngannou! All right, so the Predator, Francis Ngannou, gets the job done yet again, and no surprise with authority here tonight. Absolutely remarkable what this Cameroonian Frenchman has accomplished thus far, and the best could still be yet to come.